since we left the plane, Leo's mood is 200 times better. I'm a different person here in this airport compared to when I'm at home in the Balinese jungle. The boxes that surround us, the boxes we inhabit, they build boxes inside our minds. Friends, the reason why there are 63 different design criteria for the home that I'm envisioning, and all this complexity is there because of the decision of the places we inhabit being one of the most important choices we've, we're faced with in life. Ontological design teaches us that we are a product of our environments. Everything that surrounds us has a direct consequence on our behavior, on our thoughts, on our actions, on our, on our emotions, on basically our identity. Most people are aware of the influence our relationships have on our lives. And yeah, this famous Jim Rohn quote of we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. But most people don't consider that an equally important influence on us is the house we inhabit and the clothes we wear and the food we eat and the art that surrounds us and the and the, the city or the village we are living in and like everything around us. This airport where I'm sitting and waiting for my flight right now actively shapes me. I'm a different person here in this airport compared to when I'm at home in the Balinese jungle. And because I got so sensitive on this influence is why I'm so bullish on creating the maximum ideally aligned living conditions. Not only me, it's probably facing sleeping, grandma too, but the only one who didn't is Leo. Why is that? Why are you not sleeping? What are you not sleeping? I, I nap two times already and you didn't. What's going on? Huh? <laughs> Maybe I'm the baby and you're the papa. But Leo did a pretty good job in entertaining all the people. Oh, we made it super. We arrived. Since we left the plane, Leo's mood is 200 times better, which is not because the airport is so nice, but the airplane is really the, the, the culmination of being locked inside inside the city like the airplane like not being able to move for three hours is like horror for this little one and he is like bam 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 running 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 and this is really a, a metaphor for how it is to be free and how it is to be trapped all spaces and that we inhabit influence us big time big time big time and Leo shows me that He's so much more free, he's so much more like just happy, just happy if he's in beautiful nature home where we are currently at. interesting if you're in airports like these I mean look at all the shapes everything that surrounds me like boxes all boxes 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 and if you are in a forest like irregular shapes round and like dynamic like 
highly, 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 highly dynamic. As the idea of ontological design tells us, the boxes that surround us, the boxes we inhabit, the boxes in which we drive through the bigger boxes called city, they build boxes inside our minds. Like we become boxed in. Compare that to the vast open sky and the incredible life force energy manifesting in millions of different shapes that, is, that are present in the forest. Like day and night. Day and night. The farther I am away from how most human beings live on this planet and then when I then for a day go back into this old life, this old way of being, these old surroundings, I'm like, it's not working. Or to put it in the words of the great Jason Silver, we design our spaces and they return the favor. We build the outside world and the outside world in return builds us. This is my invitation for you to become super, 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 super picky on every single detail that surrounds you, like everything. Really ask yourself, are you living in your favorite home? Are you wearing your favorite clothes? Are you going to your favorite job? Are you spending time with your favorite people? Are you following your favorite activities? Like, are you living at your favorite place? Like everything on all levels. Fresh cans like this what inspire me to eat more of that? Probably not. Of course Probably not. not. Hello. <laughs> what are we doing? Probably. Uh, we left Bali, we're gonna move full time to Kuala Lumpur, oh, Airport nice. Hotel. Wow, such a <laughs> because surprise! It's, uh, it's like the spaces we inhabit and in so on, yeah. <laughs> That's where we're making it. It's so. very in alignment, hey? That's why. Yeah, you always need to stand on the outside of the car. It's a full body match. Here's the. Here's the. What else do you want to say? Surrender. Surrender, alright. Oh, oh, thanks. Let's do a room tour this first. So aligned. Oh, okay. We arrived yes. and uh, the room tour is finished. Ooh. Oh. No, okay, to... show us around, please. Sweet. Fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah. Show us around. What do yeah. we have here? A coffee. We have, uh, water in a plastic bottle. Nice. Plastic bottle. And, uh, to, at home, we have uh, coffee trees in our garden. And here we have nice. Yeah, no, don't Wow, sugar. and sugar. Mmm, nice. Okay, that's it for today. Good night. Uh, this will be uh, quite an adventure. Tomorrow we're gonna fly to Bali. Uh -huh. And the reason for that is that we missed the flight. And why did we miss the flight? Um, probably because there were two flights at the same time in different terminals and I didn't check the flight numbers. Nice. So we waited and we waited and waited here. and waited and then uh, we waited until the flight left. <laughs> Without that's, us. That's how it is. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, nice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, friends, it's 3.35 in the night. I just finished the edit of today's video and I want to add one more thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. I had a great time editing. It's beautiful to see like how on fire we were during this whole like travel day in a setting that is absolutely not aligned. And at the same time, I sense that like our normality of being barefoot, eating watermelon, running around, like enjoying life, being excited. This is something that we were able to hold up, even though the setting we inhabited today was far from ideal, because this normality got nourished over the past days, weeks, months like, of us living in a 
super duper light setting you see that um, in all the other videos we published so far all the conditions are lined up like perfectly for our thriving but I strongly sense that we would not be able to maintain all that if we would live um, in underlined living conditions even just like for a week if I would imagine myself even just for a week living in a big city with all the shops, all the consumption, all the stressed people, all the noise, all the bad air quality, all the toxic, um, highly processed food and so on and so on, like, I would not be able to maintain my spirit slowly but gradually it would decrease and I would adapt myself like to this environment. Very likely. So today's day was a beautiful reminder of how many decisions um, I made in my life very well and how important it is to really check in with yourself. What is the ideal breeding ground for my ultimate thriving? And then act accordingly and not make compromises. Not make compromises. Like all in, like 100%. This 78%, this is something that I shared in a recent podcast interview with my dear friend Carl, that I hope that I did, it's in German, um, I'll link it down there below, uh, I think it's already published for my German speaking friends, like and I shared the story of how the 78%, this is where we need to be very careful, because tolerating something that is 78% is very easy, it's like, it's not a full yes, it's a, yeah, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, it's okay, yeah. But true greatness is taking place at the 100%. And saying no to 78% creates the space, creates the energy, creates the, the vacuum in which 100% aligned living conditions, relationships, work, health, like, can really enter. So take another nap and then we're off to go finally home to Mama Bali. See you from there.